Hey guys, Ashley Escada with Techno Buffalo. Let's talk about WWDC a little bit. I've got some ideas about what I want to see, what we'll likely see, and setting expectations for the keynote. Well, my wish list is always the same with Apple, all the things at once. It's been almost a year since we've seen a new piece of hardware, so I want to see all the new stuff, but we won't get that. But if I would allow out all the things we're expecting to see, like a Retina 13-inch MacBook Pro, I'd really love to see a new Mac Pro from Apple but that's a little far-fetched. Of course, the fabled iWatch is the unicorn everyone's hoping to see at WWDC, so I'm curious if Apple will take the time to announce it here. It would make for one heck of a one more thing. And developers will be on hand to check it out and learn about developing for it in any of WWDC's workshops. Unfortunately, the iWatch might be one of those insanely great products Apple wants to give its own event to, so that's probably unlikely. Boo. As for software changes, I think the biggest hope is that Tim Cook sticks to his guns uh, with what he said at D11 and opens up Apple more in terms of their API. Specifically, my biggest wish is that we'll see the ability to choose default apps for mail, navigation, search, and browser, but that might give too much to Google in terms of mindshare on the iPhone since they've been working really hard and doing a great job of stealing users away from Apple's default apps. My prediction for the keynote is 80% software and 20% hardware. The MacBook line is solid and probably won't see any major redesigns. It's kind of like a Porsche. You don't need standalone events to announce new models every year. You just tweak everything slightly to improve performance and let people enjoy the good design. Software is the name of the game at this year's WWDC, and I'm personally really excited to see some movement in the often glacial progress of iOS. There are tons of people online demanding a full revamp of iOS, though. Uh, unfortunately, software design changes have two inherent issues with that whole full redesign thing. Number one, uh, they freak out legacy users who aren't tech fiends like we are, and those people would panic if one day they updated their iPhone to find a whole new interface that scared and confused them. With this unique relationship people have with their iPhone, we take changing it really seriously. Johnny Ive will have to update iOS by turning up the proverbial heat on it over time. So while this will be an interesting WWDC, don't place your bets on iOS looking completely different. Sure, we will see changes and it'll probably be a little flatter, but it's not going to suddenly look like Android tomorrow. Number two, software design takes time. And as we all know, Johnny Ive is a perfectionist and he will not launch hardware or software until he feels it's ready. If there's one thing we're all sure of, it's that Apple's keynote will have that same mixture of expected launches, fresh updates, and one or two surprises. Get out your keynote bingo cards and make sure you check out all of our WWDC coverage starting Monday, June 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. See you then.